How we treat women and girls is absolutely essential to who we are as a people. The issue of gender equality globally must be addressed if the problems that we share across the world are to be solved. It's the way that we can bring greater peace and balance in this world. We're at the point of freedom, and that means two things. One is it's maximum danger, and the other is we're not going to stop. What Nick and Cheryl have been able to do is tell very compelling stories of people that they empathize with and understand in their context. Well, I, I got an email. I remember like the subject being like Sierra Leone, and I opened that one because I was like, oh, that's interesting, what's that all about? And then it was the invitation to come on board, and I immediately said yes. I love what Nick and Cheryl say in the book, that women are not the problem, they're the solution. When I, I started reading what Half the Sky is about, and what the message is, and the story. You are so beautiful and so smart. I know you will be very successful. You can't say no. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't ask, but can I ask, did your husband ever hit you? No. No. Did, so because he... I'm very harsh. <laughs> Nick and Cheryl kind of revolutionized the way people talk about aid and made people very fired up and inspired and certainly made me want to get out there and be a part of the movement. So you were a commercial sex worker from when to when? From 94 to 98. I'm just curious how much you were paid for that work. 50 shillings. It's a tough topic. The challenge that women and girls face around the world is not an easy topic to talk about but we really think it is the moral challenge of this century. Nick and Cheryl are out there talking about this issue, and not just talking about it kind of theoretically, but they have all these stories about actual girls and women that are going through some of these struggles. That really brings it to life for a much wider audience. Is that red door, is that a rough?